for their first 21 season, New Orleans Saints were awful. Fans wore paper bags over their heads and called them the Aints. Then in 1986, Jim Moore was hired and brought in some new players who became winners. Now, 25 years later, three of those key players are headlining the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. The NCAA Baseball Tournament brackets were announced this morning and for only the third time since 1988, the LSU Tigers baseball team was not invited. Since losing their first game of the season, the Alexandria Aces have not only bounced back, but they've won six in a row and are sitting comfortable in first place of the Texas Collegiate League. The LSU Tigers continue the dominance of Southeastern Conference teams in bowl games for the 2010 season with their 41-24 victory over the Texas A&M Aggies here in the 75th edition of the AT&T Cotton Bowl. Turpin Stadium here on the campus of Northwestern State University may be empty at the moment, but this morning it was filled with demons of the future. Well, I'm sure everyone's bracket did not have Butler and UConn for the championship game, but those two teams were playing for the big one. Well, Lizzie, the Warhawks are prepared for the Crowley Gents tonight, definitely. Last year, they lost a close game, 28-26. to And the high school itself, everyone who's here was happy to see that we were using that as their game of the week. <laughs> hey, sports fans, I'm News Channel 5's Mo Carter. Spring is finally here, and it's time for you to get out and enjoy some of your favorite warm-weather sports. Plus, it's time for a brand-new season of Athlete of the Week. Send in your nominations throughout the week and tune in every Monday for a special feature with the winner. We want to know all about your highlight-worthy performances. And who knows, you may be just the next Athlete of the Week. <laughs>
next year. He goes in for a 24 yard touchdown and Texas is up seven to nothing. Back comes the boot. Deshaun Morrison, he rushes one all the way down to the one yard line. That's a 10 yard game. That would set up his teammate, Dylan Berlin, who's going to McNeese State next year. He busts up the middle for a one yard touchdown, tying the game up at seven apiece. But in the second quarter, Team Texas comes back and responds. It's Kyle Washington. He'll get a 10 yard run for a touchdown. Extra point was no good though, and Texas led 13 to 7. Now, Texas trying to add to their lead right before the half. Trey Anderson, the quarterback, going deep down the sideline, but he'll be intercepted by Luttrell Thomas. He takes it away from Bobby Wade. Texas led 13 to 7 at the half, and in the second half, Louisiana has an enormous comeback, and they go on to win 30 to 23. It's been a tough year for the Alexandria Aces. Before the season, they lost many sponsors. During the season, they've lost a ton of games. And by midseason, they lost their head coach, Mike Burns. With all these losses, could the Aces organization be the next thing lost? Eric Moran, a former Aces player in the 90s and now a co-owner of the organization, says it's been a challenge to keep everything together, especially with the lack of financial assistance. We've had a lot of long-term uh, sponsors that people have been here around for a long, long time that have uh, decided for whatever reason not to renew their sponsorship this year. Uh, other than that, I mean, I really didn't press them to, for answers or anything. Attendance has not been at its best this year either. With a down economy, a struggling baseball team, and majority of the home games playing during the week, Moran knows it's been really hard on the fans to come out to support their hometown team. I think that's keeping a lot of people from coming out to the park too as well. And it has been hot. But, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, if you want to support the Aces, you, know, you want to support the Aces business, you know, then you need to come out and support it too as well. And despite the recent struggles with the organization, Moran gave plenty of reasons why the city of Alexandria will not lose the Aces. The Aces made money last year for the first time ever. Um, this year we're going to be close to break even too as well. I mean, we're struggling with, uh, with our debt from 2009. We had a heck of a lot more expenses than we had revenue. And we're going to be here regardless of the rest of the season, and we've already made a commitment to that. So, I mean, that's not the issue. The issue is you know, what, what we do going forward. The Aces organization plans to finish out 2011 on a strong note and wants to build success for upcoming season. The baseball team only has a few home games remaining in the month of July, but once all the fans to come out and fill the stands for those games, starting with Pack the Park Night on Wednesday. At Bringhurst Field with the Alexandria Aces, Mo Carter, News Channel 5, your local station for sports. The Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. This is the place you want to end up once you've paid your dues in your respective sports in the Bayou State. Being selected to the Hall of Fame is a true blessing and a tremendous honor. You think about all the athletes that have come through the state of Louisiana and in its history, and only a few of us are in the Hall of Fame. I mean, that, that puts it into perspective, and uh, I'm very blessed. This is the place I got my start. I've been lucky. I got a lot of awards in Seattle, but this is the one. This is icing on the cake. Kyla Hall Hollis made history this year, becoming the first softball player inducted into the Hall. The former All-American pitcher at USL is now the head coach at the University of Houston. With her selection, many more softball players could reach the Hall in years to come. I hope the future is bright and the door stays wide open so for so many great softball players to come. And thank you to all the voters and the Hall of Fame staff. This is definitely one of the best nights of my life. And finally, the New Orleans Saints had not one, not two, but three Hall of Famers. Morton Anderson, Vaughn Johnson, and Buford Jordan helped turn the Aints back into the Saints in the late 80s and early 1990s together. And this weekend, they were enshrined into the Hall together. Probably a rare thing that you'll see anywhere, guys that all played at the same time from the same team to be inducted. Go in with Buford and Morton Anderson. You know, guys that I actually played with and uh, had fun with. It's a special time, and uh, those guys are definitely deserving, and I'm excited because of that. In Natchitoches, Mo Carter, New Channel 5, your local station for sports. This is the Ben McLaughlin we all know. Louisiana College's All-American quarterback who led the Wildcats to consecutive winning seasons. He is the American Southwest Conference's all-time leading passer and up for the Gagliardi Trophy, college football's Heisman Trophy for Division III. On the field, Ben is known as a wonderful leader, great teammate, and the ultimate student athlete. 
This fall, Ben became a very busy man with even a busier schedule. In August, he was hired to do this. When you're trying to find the slope. A freshman algebra teacher at Bolton High School. So yes, McLaughlin was a starting quarterback, working on his master's degree, and a school teacher. The big question is, how does he do it? Uh, it's definitely, it was a trial. It was tough at some points. I attribute a lot to our coaching staff at LC for, for we worked around sort of my schedule a lot and practice schedules. We, we, we had to work around that and then Bolton worked around a lot of the football stuff. So it was a lot of the powers that be that really accommodated our, this unique situation. On Monday, Bolton High School showed him appreciation and honored him for his hard work on the field and in the classroom. He's just phenomenal with each and every one of them. They really enjoy his class. And if you're, if you remember what being a ninth grader is like, enjoying algebra one uh, can be quite challenging sometimes. He has made a great inspiration to him. He's a football player and I'm a football player. Every time I get down, he just pull me up every time. And like, I, I never be stressed. He always help me out. Most of us. Here at Bowden, <laughs> we look up to him because he's a college student and, you know, he's a great teacher. We love him. And when it comes to McLaughlin, no matter if you're his teammate, his faculty member, or his student, everyone says the same, that Ben McLaughlin is just a great person. On your side from Bolton High School, Mo Carter, News Channel 5 Sports.